Uh, we had a uh, pretty significant turnout in terms of the voting. I want to appreciate um, everybody who put their name forward as this is the inaugural city council. This is a big step forward for us. I know in the past, uh, the mayor I'm acted as sort of an autonomous uh, entity that just kind of did things on their own. Uh, and I hope that moving forward, this new system of government will give everyone a voice. So whether you're a doctor, EMS, psych, DOC, PD, uh, random run of the mill person working grime in group six, Hopefully, given uh, this new system, you will have someone to go to to have your voice heard. Uh, if you are someone who is trying to have your voice heard, and after this announcement and in the coming weeks, you do not find that the elected representatives are doing their job or taking information in that you're bringing to them, uh, you can feel free to come to me and express any grievances you may have. These positions are not uh, permanent. They are three month terms. However, uh, there are oaths of office that these people the are gonna up. take. And if uh, they break that oath, uh, then they can be replaced. So just please keep that in mind and uh, come forward to talk to me privately in the coming weeks if you have any concerns. That being said, I'll go ahead and uh, start announcing the various election results. Don't worry, that wooden barrier will stop us. Look at the corn would run. <laughs> All right. So, uh, first up is going to be the healthcare liaison. Nice. This is the position that first. will represent the various fields of EMS workers, doctors. It's going to be her, guys. Uh, psych workers, etc. There were a number of candidates put forth. Uh, Miss Aphrodite Theos receiving 12 votes. Uh, Mr. Franklin Happy Lee receiving 14 votes. And the winner of the healthcare liaison seat in the inaugural yeah, city baby. council will be Miss Philippa Cantor. With yes, yes. 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 Thank you, guys. Yeah. Congratulations, Cantor. Let's go. Uh, please see me after the announcements and revelry, and uh, we'll get you onboarded and discuss moving forward. All right. Next up will be the head of the bar association. Uh, this is the representation for lawyers and judges on the city council. Uh, I will uh, make this very clear. This position is very important because although it is one of the conduits for representation, it also will serve as the head of the Civilian Oversight Board. Uh, some of you know this is coming, some of you may not, so we'll consider this a formal announcement. There will be a Civilian Oversight Board led by this person who's gonna be announced as the head of the bar. Uh, there will be a coming election in the next uh, two weeks or so in which four civilians, uh, these are people without any record except for traffic tickets, will be the bar, uh, may apply to be on the board. A civilian oversight board functions as oversight for the PD. So if there is allegations of police misconduct in a major case, no longer will we struggle to have IA or some form of that handle that oversight. Instead, there will be a civilian oversight board of four civilians led by the head of the bar, who will interview witnesses, the officers themselves, review testimonies, evidence, etc., and make recommendations to the PD in terms of discipline and actions moving forward. So, uh, without further ado, there were several candidates who went for head of the bar. They include Murphy Braun with four votes, Norman Adams with seven votes, and the newly elected head of the bar, Mr. Lance Malton, with eight votes. Congratulations. Good job. Woo! Looks destroyed. Okay. Uh, next up <laughs> will be the PD liaison. This is much like uh, the healthcare or the legal fields. PD will have someone to represent them on the council and make sure their interests are heard. Uh, there were a number of contestants for this position, including Jeffrey Bones with two votes, Dana Blackwell with two votes, Barrick Johnson with eight votes. Sean oh, Maple with nine votes and the elected Malcolm Nakoda with 12 votes. Oh, oh fuck yeah, Nakoda. Nakoda. Oh, hell yeah, Nakoda. Nakoda. That's not good for us, guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. not good for us. Uh, now, uh, I will remind you that this next position, the mayoral race, there will be several seats awarded from this list of candidates. The way this is going to work is I'll read out the votes. The person who receives the second most votes will become the deputy mayor. The person who receives the first most votes will become the mayor. Uh, shortly after uh, the celebrations and whatnot, 
I will be holding a meeting with the newly elected representatives. I'm actually a little nervous. Part of that is the mayor will be announcing to myself who their chief of staff will be. This is also a voting position this. on the city council. So uh, we had a number of candidates sign up. Um, not all of them receive votes. I will be only mentioning the ones that receive votes in the spirit of time and efficiency. Uh, so Donnie McMuffin with nine votes. Party Hardy, 28 votes. Max Dumont, 30 votes. Uh, Cletus Cornwood withdrew, uh, so these votes do not count, but he received 44 votes. Pilbish Shonley with 47. Uh, so the last three here, uh, the uh, third place finisher who will not be receiving a seat is Mr. Stelio Lambros with 118 votes. Nice. Second place finisher and elected oh, as yeah. the deputy mayor is Michael Simone. Nice. With 158 <gasps> votes. Wait, what? And the newly elected mayor with 391 <laughs> votes, Max <laughs> Yes! Let's win it! Holy oh, shit! I understand you all may need some time to celebrate <laughs> with your folks, uh, but the newly elected members of the city council, if you could join me in city hall in the next, yeah, let's say, 20 on. minutes when you're ready, and uh, we'll discuss steps moving forward. Thank you. Man. Congra congratulations, Mr. Max. Thank you. Congrats, Max. Thank you, everyone who voted for me. I love you. We love you. We love you. Perfect. Class, then. Oh, this was robbed. Oh my God.